know by now that tense is about time and a verb that refers to an action or state in the past is in the past tense. You have learned in great detail about the different types of past tenses. Let us quickly revise these tenses and do some exercises. You have learned that past tenses are of four kinds. The simple past tense, the past continuous tense, the past perfect tense and the past perfect continuous tense. Let us revise these with the help of some examples. Gina played the piano on stage last night. This sentence is in the simple past. As you can see, she is waving to the crowd who are clapping for her stupendous performance. So in the simple past tense, the verb form is the base verb with D, E, D or I, E, D added to it. If you remember, some verbs change completely in the simple past tense. Gina was playing the piano when I returned home last night. You can see that when this lady returned home at night, Gina was playing the piano. So was playing is in the past continuous tense and the verb was playing is formed by using was or were with the ing form of the base verb. In this case, the base verb is play. Gina had played the piano before the main event began. You can see here that Gina started playing the piano, completed playing her piano and then she got up to leave the stage for the main event to begin. So, had played is in the past perfect tense and the verb had played is formed by using had with the past participle form of the base verb. Gina had been playing the piano for two hours since 5 p.m. last evening. You can see here that Gina has been playing the piano from 5 o'clock for two hours and at this time she has been continuously playing the piano. So, had been playing is in the past perfect continuous tense and the verb had been playing is formed by using had with been and then the ing form of the base verb. So, we have four types of the past tense. The simple past, the past continuous, the past perfect and the past perfect continuous. So in the simple past tense, the verb played has been formed by adding ed to the base verb play. In the past continuous tense, the verb was playing has been formed by adding the ing form of the base verb to was. In the past perfect tense, the verb had played has been formed by adding the past participle form of the base verb to had. And in the past perfect continuous tense, the verb had been playing has been formed by adding had been to the ing form of the base verb. Now you will see that the ing form of the base verb is showing us that an action was in progress at a specific point of time in the past. The past perfect tense and the past continuous tense together make up the past perfect continuous tense. Had is telling us that it is past, been is telling us that it is perfect and the ing form of the base verb is telling us that the action was in progress. Let us refresh the differences between some past tenses. So Gina played the piano on stage last night. Played is in the simple past tense and it is showing us an action that began in the past 
and was completed in the past. So the action was completed in the past. In the past perfect tense, when we say Gina had played the piano before the main event began, had played is telling us that an action began in the past, had completed before another action in the past or by a specific time in the past. In this case, it is telling us that the action Gina had played the piano was completed before another action which is the main event began. So, had played is in the past perfect tense and it is showing us an action began and was completed before another action in the past. Now, what is the difference between the past continuous tense and the past perfect continuous tense? When I say Gina was playing the piano, when I returned home last night and when I say Gina had been playing the piano for two hours since 5 p.m. last evening, what is the difference? In the past continuous tense, the verb was playing is telling us that an action was in progress at a specific time in the past. What is the specific time? When I came home last night. In the case of past perfect continuous, the verb had been playing is telling us that an action began in the past. It continued for a period of time in the past. What was the period of time? For two hours since 5 p.m. This is showing us the period of time and was in progress at a specific time in the past. What is the difference between past perfect tense and the past perfect continuous tense? Let us see. In the past perfect tense, our sentence is Gina had played the piano before the main event began. In the past perfect continuous tense, our sentence is Gina had been playing the piano for two hours since 5 p.m. last evening. So the verb had played in the past perfect tense is telling us that an action began in the past and had completed before another action in the past. What was the other action in the past? The main event began and in case of past perfect continuous, the verb had been playing is telling us that the action began in the past. It continued for some time, for a duration of time in the past and was in progress at a specific time in the past. Now that we have revised the different kinds of the past tenses, let us do some exercises. Identify the tense of the underlined verb in the following sentence. The birds were singing as she woke up in the morning. The verb underlined is were singing. And what tense is this? We can see that there is an ing form with were. So the verb were singing is in the past continuous tense. Identify the tense of the following sentence. Carol had trekked to the Mount Everest base camp. What is our verb here? Had trekked. Had trekked is telling us that this happened in the past, had and trekked is the past participle form of the base verb trek. So, this form of verb is in the past perfect tense. Fill in the blanks with the correct forms of the given verbs. V dash, the verb collect is in the bracket, 
garbage for us till it was dark. We dash already dash fill is in the bracket. It in huge bags before the garbage truck dash and arrive is in the bracket. So let us take each sentence at a time, get what the sentence is trying to tell us and then fill in with the appropriate form of the verb. We dash garbage for hours till it was dark. So this sentence is trying to tell us an activity or an action which we did in the past for a duration of time. So what will be the form of the verb collect here? It will be we had been collecting garbage for us till it was dark. We dash already dash it in huge bags before the garbage truck dash. We dash already dash is telling us an action that we had completed. So we will write we had already filled. Had filled is in the past perfect tense and already is showing us a particular point of time. We had already filled it in huge bags before the garbage truck. It happened in the past, so before the garbage truck arrived. So our paragraph will read as, We had been collecting garbage for hours till it was dark. We had already filled it in huge bags before the garbage truck arrived. So the simple past tense shows an action or state in the past. The past continuous tense shows an action in progress at a particular time in the past. The past perfect tense shows that an action took place before another action in the past or before a point of time in the past. The past perfect continuous tense shows an action that started in the past, continued for some time in the past and was in progress at a specific time in the past. I hope that by now all the different types of past tenses are absolutely clear to you and there is no confusion about these. If you want to master these, I have always said practice and it will make you perfect. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.